I'm happy where I'm at. You started out with the X, is that right? Started out with the X as a freshman, switched over to Z. Now this year, I play all, so. Do you expect to be as active and as much of the plan tonight as, as you ended up being going into this game? Yes, sir. And is that a redemptive, redemptive exciting uh, type of feeling to, to be that big part of the offense after patiently waiting here? Of for course. I mean, I, I've been waiting on this moment for four and a half years, so. Obviously, you, obviously you had some frustrations with injuries and all that throughout throughout the years. Did you were there times when you wondered if games like tonight were, were going to happen for you? Um, no, sir. I, I, I've always known that God has always had a plan for me, and I, I've stuck to His plan, and now I'm here. How, how heartening is it, or how much did you follow the example of the guys that came before you, Bird and Lippett, and guys that kind of peaked at the, at the right times late in their career? Um, I've always looked at Burb and Tony Lippett as role models. Um, they're two Big Ten receivers of the year. Um, they're both great guys on and off the field, and they really showed us the way. Is it a confidence-building night to, to have that type of a feedback? Yes, sir. And what, how do, what do you take going forward from it? Does it change your attitude heading into future weeks? Not at all. I, I'm still hungry to do better. Um, I, I left some some plays out on the field. I still had some maybe mistakes. Um, so it's just it's up from here. Anything change when, when RJ went out for you? Um, we had we had the I had to go into the slot because we had Donnie playing the Z, Phil playing the X. That's about it. That's kind of what Coach talked about. What, your ability to jump outside, especially if there's an injury like that. I mean, how, how, what, what did you see in, in terms of moving around like that, and how, how are you able to do that? Um, it's really just knowing what to do when I do it. There's three or four of the last years you've had games that end up being a little bit closer than people would have expected in the season opener, I guess. Is there some sort of just kind of getting kicking the rest off and getting used to playing again thing you guys go through in the first week of the season? I would say so, yes. Um, I mean, we still have a lot to learn. We have to learn from our mistakes coming Sunday, watch a the film, then get on Notre Dame. Does having similar games to start years where you won Big Ten championships, does that help the team from pressing the panic button after being in a close game with an FCS team to start the um, We don't really think about it like that because Furman was a great team. They had a plan. They came out and executed their plan. Um, we we came out, I would say, slow at first. I mean, we, start, we scored on our first drive. But after that, we came out slow. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to, not to rise to, to Furman, but I guess there are penalties and some mistakes and that kind of thing. Oh, yeah, we, we have to eliminate that does the fact going that into Notre Dame. You, you've started the year like that before and worked your way out of it. Does that make you a little more comfortable with, with thinking, okay, we, we can get erase those things and move on? And we've done that yes, sir, completely. Well, Connor says that you need to get the ball more, get it in your hands more. Does that give you confidence that the quarterback thinks that you deserve oh, the ball yeah. more? Oh, yeah, Tyler, me and Tyler are real close. Um, if he's saying that, um, I'm doing something right. So that makes you feel pretty good moving forward? Yes, sir. 